Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you the 100th IAQA Tech Tip, this time on asthma and indoor air quality. Asthma is a chronic condition which can cause shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, and other respiratory effects. According to the National Institutes of Health, over 25 million Americans live with asthma. About 9% of children suffer from asthma in the U.S. Well, what is it? Asthma is caused by inflammation which narrows the small airways in your lungs. It can be hard to breathe if the passageways are closing up. Someone once told me that their asthma attacks were like trying to breathe through a small coffee straw. Beyond inflammation itself, the muscles around the airways constrict and there can be increased mucus production during an asthma attack. Between the inflammation, muscle tightening, and mucus, there may only be a small opening left through which to breathe. There are many indoor air quality contaminants which can trigger asthma attacks. These include ozone, particulate matter, and environmental tobacco smoke, just to name a few. A major contributor to asthma is allergens, coming from cockroaches, dust mites, pollen, cats, dogs, mold, mice, and others. An allergic reaction to one of these substances can release histamine, which in turn causes inflammation and swelling in the airways. Therefore, allergies and asthma have a close relationship. An article in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology states that allergies can be attributed to more than half of the asthma cases in the United States. The same article states that for children with asthma who live in the inner city, indoor allergy sensitivity is more prevalent than outdoor allergy sensitivity. This is more evidence that the indoor environment is of utmost importance to people with asthma. If you're concerned that indoor air quality contaminants are exacerbating your asthma, consider having an IAQA member evaluate the problem. Head to the IAQA website and click the Find an IAQA Pro button on the homepage.